This book is one of the best-selling KDP books on Amazon, and with a bestseller's rank of 219, means it's selling between six to 12,000 books per month. And with an estimated royalty of around $1.41 per book, means that this book is making between $8,400 to $17,000 per month in royalties. That's pure profit. But it gets better because twice a year, this book sees a boost in sales, which means during those times, this particular book is making somewhere between $12,400 to $24,900 per month. And that's because it belongs to the overall back to school niche, which means it sells pretty well throughout the year, but around September and January each year, it sees this significant increase in sales. So in this video, we're going to look at those back to school niches, which is a big part of those Q3 niches, which is coming up in the next few months. And so now, if you're thinking of creating these types of books, is a good time to get started on them. So I'm gonna give you my top 10 picks for these Q3 niches. So let's get started. And as we've just seen, the first book I'm gonna tell you about is the Letter Tracing Workbook. And all of these have got excellent low bestsellers ranks. Now I have got a plugin installed from Helium 10, which will show us this graph here of sales. And if we go to the one year, we can see that each year around that September time and the beginning of the year, the bestsellers ranks drop significantly, which corresponds to an increase in sales. Now these books are relatively easy to create because if we have a look at the interior of one of these books, we've got this basic handwriting interior, which consists of these two thick lines and in between the dotted line. And you can see this book here have got shapes and also basic letters for kids to trace around. Now, what I've done for this particular sort of group of niches, these Q3 niches, I put together a package of some templates and keywords that I've got available in my Gumroad shop. So where I've got these available, I put them all together in one package and I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. It's absolutely free of charge. It's just got some templates and some keywords related to the niches I'm gonna show you. And one of the templates is actually a handwriting template so you can create these types of books using that. The next one, very similar, but aimed at a slightly older age group, and that's a handwriting practice book. And these are aimed at kids around six to 10. But also, having said that, there's books also aimed at teenagers and also adults to improve handwriting. And you've got these here, which are cursive handwriting workbooks as well. We used to call these when I was a kid, joined up handwriting. And again, if we look at the interior, we've got that basic handwriting interior with letters, for kids or adults to trace around. Next, we've got number tracing books. And again, even now the bestsellers ranks look excellent. And if we once again look at an interior, you'll notice we've got that same handwriting interior, but this time instead of letters, we've got numbers for kids to trace around. And also you often find that there's some text and images just to make the pages look more attractive and also help educate kids. So similar to those, two niches I've just shown you. These are pretty easy to create as well. Next, we come on to laboratory notebooks. Now these are more aimed at people going to college or university and possibly high school as well. And these are designed to be filled in whilst doing science projects, experiments at college or school. Now you'll notice there's a couple of different types of interiors here. We've got this one where it looks like a basic dot grid interior with a section at the top to fill in some details about the sort of experiment project that the student is doing. And also very similar, this is another type that I often see. Instead of the dot grid, we've got the graph paper interior and again, an area where students can fill out their details. Again, something that's pretty simple to create. Next, we've got Cornell Notes notebooks, again, aimed at students at college and university. And the idea behind these is that during things like lectures, students can fill out the main points of the lecture with notes and also a summary. And again, these sell well all year round, but especially in that September and early January time period. Next, we've got these sight words activity books, very good, low bestsellers ranks, and very similar to the handwriting books. We've got this handwriting interior, but this time instead of letters, we've got basic words, 
and basic sentences for kids to trace around. And the idea behind these books is those sort of late kindergarten, grade one age students just helps teach them those important words that they need to know when starting school. Next, we've got maths workbooks or maths workbooks if you're from the UK. These are mostly aimed at the younger age group, sort of the first grade, second grade. But there are some workbooks here that are aimed at those older kids as well. And if we look at interior, they're just basic tasks to help kids with understanding of maths and to help them count. Next, we've got this one here, which is timed test workbooks. Now, I'm not over familiar with this niche and it looks very interesting. One of the reasons it looks very interesting is because of the search numbers here, which is only 619, which means the competition for these types of books looks pretty low. But also it looks interesting because of these very low bestsellers ranks. They are selling extremely well. I've got this one here, 516, which is amazing. And these are just pages of math problems. And these could be subtraction, addition, multiplication, division, and they can range from easy to hard, depending on the age on which the book is aimed at. And you can see here, you've got a page of just 60 problems that have to be completed in a specific amount of time. And then you've got another page. So in one book, you'd have 100 pages of these problems all set out. Now, in terms of creating these, I'm sure there's a way that these can, can be created in something like maybe an Excel spreadsheet and can even be automated as well. And in fact, I'm going to look at ChatGPT to see if there's a way to automate this because you can create tables in ChatGPT. So I'll have a look at that and maybe I'll do a video on that if it looks good. Next, we've got the teacher planner or academic year planners. And these normally go from say July this year until June, July next year. And the interiors are sort of planner diary type interiors, which are a bit more of a challenge to create, but I'll show you a resource in a moment, which helps you create these types of interiors very easily easily. And again, very good low bestsellers rank. The only thing with this particular niche is that I notice that a lot of the books on the first page are in fact spiral bound, which tends to indicate that maybe that's the sort of product that the market is looking at. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't create spiral bound products on KDP, but maybe that's something that will be introduced in the future. Now, the last Q3 niche are actually three related niches, and these are all related to the graph paper notebook niche. Very easy to create, especially with the resources in my Gumroad shop. And I'm particularly fond of these niches because I'm in these as well, and they sell pretty good all year round, and I get that significant boost September, January, as I've mentioned. And as you can see, even at the moment, the bestsellers ranks look pretty good. One related to this is the isometric graph paper workbook. And these are more aimed at things like architects, 3D designers. And also I think, as we can see here, Dungeons and Dragons players. And the last one of this group is the hexagonal graph paper notebooks. And these are more aimed at organic chemistry students for writing out chemical structures and formulae. Don't sell quite as many as a normal graph paper notebooks, but looking at the bestsellers ranks, again, they look pretty respectable. In terms of creating the interiors for these, I've already mentioned some of the templates which I've included in that batch in my Gumroad shop. Again, link below in the description. Many of these you can make yourself. You don't need any great illustration or graphic design skills. You've got something like Creative Fabrica, which is one of my go-to sites for things like KDP interiors, images and fonts. And it's mainly for two reasons. One is the price is very reasonable and also you get the commercial license for the print on demand usage for many of the products listed on Creative Fabrica. And also one that you might not be familiar with is Tangent Templates. They do have to pay for this. It's $59. It's a one off payment. There's no subscription, but you do get a lot of interiors, as you can see here, and you can download these in PDF formats, which are ready to upload to KDP. So you could download, say, a 120 page file in many different sizes, which are ready to upload. And also they've got these batches here of education type templates. 
which you could see are very useful for creating those teacher planners diaries that I've mentioned. And also you've got this tool here as well. These are dynamic templates and you've got this option of creating planners where you can mix and match uh, different types of interiors together. You can change the dates so you can really create something quite bespoke. I signed up to Tangent Templates in 2018 and in fact, my best selling book comes from an interior I got from Tangent Templates. So those are some useful resources to consider. Now, if you've not yet created any sort of KDP book to publish on Amazon, then I suggest this video next where it goes through creating a very basic journal and uploading it to Amazon and hopefully to sell on Amazon. Thank you very much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.